This is Decalin, running inside the fuel. It's a lead scavenger. You know the, the Rotax can burn pretty much anything, but uh, this just helps it from building up too much lead in the gearbox and all that. Jerry and I are heading to Idaho. He's got to do some remedial training with Stick and Rudder. They're like a Kit Fox training company up there. And I couldn't turn down the, the opportunity to go up there and fly. I said I'm the hoe? You the hoe. You're the hoe. Oh, we're going to Idaho. So Jerry and I just stopped in McDermott, Nevada, which actually, this is on the border of Oregon and Nevada, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I actually think probably, Oregon side here. we're probably in Oregon right here, but we found a sweet little dirt strip. Little dirt strip. There's actually a tie down place for an airplane. So, yeah, look at that. It's perfect. So, now I'm gonna walk in and get breakfast. some good food especially for being kind of in the middle of nowhere now we're just walking back to the plane uh, play, town has a lot of skulls in it I noticed a lot of cow skulls they must do a lot of ranching around here We just landed at uh, Greenleaf, which is where Stick and Rudder's base. They're running out of their hangar up here. It's Paul Liedebrand's the owner of it. Bitchin' little hangar. Um, and Jerry's gonna train with them. I'm gonna fly over and bug the guys at Kit Fox Aircraft. Whew. And now that was an exhausting, probably five minute flight. <laughs> here we are, Kit Fox. Okay. What is this? Oh God! Hey, oh, Trent. oh, hey, John. How you doing? Good. What are you doing here? Stopping in. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Hi, Deb. Hey. Want to say hi? Hey, Heather. Hey. Hi, Judd. Hi, Trent. John has actually never flown my Kit Fox, so we're gonna go for a ride. I actually completely just lied. John has flown my Kit Fox. He test flew it after the new wing. You just haven't flown it with the new prop. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's what we want to show them the prop. Here, let me fly for a sec. Yep. You want to see water scan? I was going to do it, actually. <laughs> You're going to do it in my plane for your yep. first time, huh? All right, this is how I set up. Single click the flaps. I trim for about 60, which is almost full aft. And then it's just you get down, and I just literally wait. But see how it'll bounce right off? I mean, hands off. This right. thing is stiff, and you can get on, like, one wheel, fly around on it. We're doing 47 indicated, so you can feel it Remember, drag. you got a little more weight in here, too. Yeah. But you can get it up faster, but see right now it's flying, so right. then you end up holding it on. Even at 60, it's hard for me to keep it on. Why one notch of flaps? I just like getting it to where I'm not aiming straight up. I like to be able to see a little where I'm going Got and it. adding that extra lift. You can do it zero flaps at like 70. It just, it's so chattery on that water and it, it, it's discomforting for me. Did it feel like what you thought it would feel like? Pretty much exactly what I expected. Yeah. If you do it any faster, I'm telling you, it's like ice and you just bounce right sure. out of it. Well, not a lot of room, but let's see. You thinking of getting your tires wet for your first time? Yep. Is 
There you go. Dude. Now you've water skied. Good job. See that? Did that get your blood pumping a little bit? Come it's on. A good, it's what Come I expected. No, really it did. A little bit. No, it didn't. That's cool though. But you gotta remember, I've flown so close to the water before. I mean, even Paul looked at me and says, don't get me wet, because our shadow was about down there touching. Yeah. Well, I suppose I'd get some work done. What do you think? That works for yeah, me. Yeah, it works overrated. Either way, I also want to make you fly this thing solo. Do you not land full flaps? Not yet. What? Yeah, I don't use full flaps. I'm kidding. Like, John, come I do, on. I do it on a short final, dude. Oh, I do it like 10 miles away. Maybe that's why I get places so slow. Dude, your seatbelt's hanging outside the window. <laughs> he takes mistake. off, it's like wah, 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 wah. Whoops, that's my bad. Seatbelt wasn't sticking out of that thing. <laughs> what the hell was that? I like how too, I'm just like okay with it. I was gonna own it, I'm like, that was, that was my bad. I did that. I was still fast, yeah. You know. But I don't know where, I, where I'm at in the slow side of it. So I don't want to get too slow. I don't want to drag it in too much. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, nice airplane. I mean, it, it flies real nice. It flies really nice. Um, it will fly a lot slower, obviously. Yeah. But without being familiar with it, I just don't want to drag it in too slow. Yeah. I should do a little montage of a tour of the factory. Okay. Let's do it. Look, there's a cat dragged in. What's going on, man? What's up, dude? Not a... Nice. I want to see your plane. Oh, it's right out here. Not Cade... a good place to park it. <laughs> Cade's the um, pro paraglider pilot that rips on a paraglider. Not to like make your head big or anything, but he's okay. He bought a Kit Fox. Oh, oh look at Kit Fox. What's that thing under the the cowl? Oh. What is that? Somebody got confused and put the little wheel on the wrong end. That's weird. <laughs> We're at Nampa, Nampa's airport, right? Nampa Municipal or whatever it is, county. Just Namp Nampa's airport. What I love about this place is it has Mo gas. All right, see you soon. I'm gonna get the tailwheel put back on. Going tailwheel. Ty wants to come down and play. So. Uh, down by me? Mm -hmm. Oh, well you should do that and I'm sure I'll, otherwise I'll end up back up here. I do. Sweet. See ya. <laughs> That was a fun day. It, uh, you know, we battled headwinds the whole way here, which is never fun. But anyway, at least I had company. Stopped at that bitchin' place for breakfast. Uh, gotta go nag the people at Kit Fox, which is always fun. And yeah, now uh, I think we're gonna call it. <sighs> well, that is fog. And when we woke up this morning, we got out here at about eight, 
clear skies. It was just the wing had some ice on it. So we decided to hang out, wait for the ice to thaw. And then of course, uh, this fog came in and now it's about noon. So we're just killing time, I guess. Well, uh, as of now, every airport around us is VFR clear, you know, no clouds at all. And we can actually see about five miles low level. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just get up to a safe altitude and head over towards Caldwell, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump over. And hopefully that'll open up. We can climb up and head home. This is why I love having a bush plane. Because when you gotta pee, just stop in the middle of nowhere. Hello? And pee. Hello? And look for I'm cell not surface. Any service. <laughs> You're right. Dang it. guys and that was it that was our trip pretty fun one beautiful sunset so you guys know the drill like this video subscribe if you haven't see you on the next one